So here are some RC cars that I picked up at Goodwill last few months or so. Um, this one was $8. I think these two were $6 each. And I found this one. It's a Gamma Ray boat. Um, this one was a little more. It's $20. It actually works with all the stock electronics um, and the transmitter there. Um, I probably plan on um, putting in a new ESC and a uh, uh, transmitter receiver like I did with with that enforcer, the blue one there. Both of these trucks have a 380 motors and then this guy has a 550 and the boat also has a 550. So I'm thinking with that ESC in there, it's going to really amp up that boat's performance. So the ESCs I'm using, Hobby Wing 1060s, um, they're like 20 bucks or something. You can find them online. Um, I've been pleased with their performance. And this, the uh, radio control transmitter receiver, um, this was like 30 on banggood.com. Um, I found this one. It's it's pretty cool. It has a lot of adjustments. Um, there's a uh, steering rate, throttle trim, and steering trim. These three knobs, of course the power switch is here. And even up here it's got a lot of controls. You can control the the limits for the steering left and right. And also throttle forward and throttle back. And also there's three limits for the throttle. Low, medium, and high. And then here's the steering and throttle. If you need to reverse like if the controllers are controlling it backwards, you just flip it to the other uh, position and it will operate the controller, um, the controls in a, a backwards fashion, I guess. I don't know. Um, so that's what I had to do with this one. When I installed the uh, steering servo, I had to switch over uh, the uh, steering. This one here, the, this tab here. Um, but all all worked well. So this one, I've already got this Hummer. I've already got I've got the uh, ESC installed, and I've got the uh, the servo installed as well. That conversion wasn't too difficult. So this the Enforcer is the one that was most challenging. Um, Here's what it looks like installed. I'm, I've probably got to build some sort of a barrier so it doesn't get hit or knocked or broken. Um, so I'll just build some short sort of shield to uh, cover the front of that. I had it out in the grass this morning and it's full of grass. Um, it's a pretty cool truck. It's a four wheel drive. And then the differentials are not locked. Um, there's a lot of ways to lock them. You can use silly putty and whatnot. I would probably try that if I was to try to lock them just so it's not permanent. People have like um, epoxied them. But it seems to go pretty well. So this enforcer, I've got it powered by a uh, 9.6 volt battery pack. Um, it seems to fit really well. The only thing I had to do was I had to modify, I had to slot um, this door. I, I, I put a little slot to, um, to allow it to open up a little bit more to give it room. You can see where I, I slotted it. Um, there was just a hole. I slotted it down to open up the door a little bit more, and and it fits it fits just fine. Um, it'll it'll close with this uh, 9.6 volt battery pack. Um, there you go. Lock it in place. Ready to go. And then there are more 
there's more detail regarding that stirring servo, servo in the uh, video to come. So here's a cutout for the steering servo. I used the backside of an X-Acto knife. I just scored it and uh, just kept scoring it until the piece became loose. So I cut another black plastic to cover up the uh, existing hole from the other steering servo. So here's the servo that is installed. Um, it fit really nicely, nice and tight. Now if you notice, there's a small gap at the top. On the bottom side, I cut it flush with that ledge right there. But on the top side, there was a gap. Um, because if I would have cut it tight against the top side, then I think it would have fit crooked. So th this is the uh, steering linkage. I used um, a, a clothes hanger and I soldered the clothes hanger together. Um, you would need a really hot soldering iron. There's a coating on the, uh, the clothes hanger. So here's the uh, servo installed with steering. There's a uh, very little play in uh, the steering linkage. So here's the uh, ESC installed and the uh, steering servo and also the transmitter. So here we are with the uh, the test runs. I'm videoing and trying to control the uh, the car with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other one. But it goes really well. I'm I'm very happy with it.